What if you could take 60 seconds now to save your life in 10 years? I'm Michael King, and a Seattle startup may be onto something. Yeah, you can trust me. I'm a doctor. At least I play one on, on TV. All right, there's a Seattle startup that is doing something that sounds like science fiction, but they want to make it science fact, and it could save your life. You're moving out to the island, transported to the world's last paradise. In the movie The Island, Scarlett Johansson is a clone trying to escape a sinister society that wants to harvest her organs. I think they're gonna kill you. Going to the island. There is no island! But here in an unassuming University of Washington lab... These ones look like multinucleated. It's not sinister at all. The futuristic medical breakthroughs going on here might actually save your life. I think it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Is it lymphoid or myeloid? Dr. Alex Zhao was a UW student. That I was actually generating tons of stem cells and heart cells like every day. He sees the potential to cure disease, repair tissue, even create a new organ with your stem cells. Uh, a man just got his spinal cord cells uh, re-injected in his spine and was able to start regaining uh, feeling in his upper arms and hands. I mean, I think we're, we're kind of in an era where technology is getting to the point where it's starting to deliver on some of the promise that we've had you know, for decades. He told classmate Dr. Jenna Strully, and together they founded Silene Biotech. It's happening, we're, we're live. Here's how it works. And you take a blood draw and it takes like 60 to 90 seconds to get your blood drawn and at that point it's over for you, you know, you're done. Silene takes over from there, spinning out the stem cells, which are frozen, then sent to a storage lab. Let's say in 10 years you have a heart attack. Well, medicine may have advanced enough by then to repair your tissue using your younger cells. These technologies are coming online. Alex's friend Deanna from New York was one of the first to sign up after her battle with liver cancer. Patrick from Seattle heard about it on the news and jumped at this personalized health insurance. The pace of change is pretty great these days. And the pace that we, you know, the diseases that we had two years ago, five years ago, are now curable in a lot of cases today. You know, it's very easy for me to connect the dots. Alex says it is still all about the future, but this is the perfect place to pioneer his new idea right now. Pacific Northwesterners, you know, they really, I mean, there's like a lot of regional pride and it's great to work in this environment where people are willing to kind of help out, you know, like small companies like us. He hopes to return the favor for years to come.